Hi everyone, welcome back to Where the Gnomes Live. Today I'm going to do a video for you that's a little bit different than I normally do here on this channel. I recently started making junk journals and I'm going to do a flip through of a junk journal. But it's not going to be either of these two. These are two that I just made recently. I'm actually going to flip through a journal that fits inside this matchbox. And of course, because we love miniatures here at Where the Gnomes Live, right? So if you don't know what a junk journal is, you can look on YouTube and uh, just type it in. There's thousands of videos out there and tutorials. So I'm going to do that flip through for you, but if you're here from the Facebook group Junk Journal Junkies, I will quickly show you my dollhouse that I keep talking about and then you'll see where this is going to end up and then we'll get to the flip through. So there's the monstrous house that I keep referring to in my posts. Uh, the Gnome Stump House. This started in 2014 I have, um, it's in constant progress. I keep adding rooms. Just when I think I'm done, I'll add another room. There is a video tour here on YouTube. I have a couple actually. But the latest one I did was last year. So I'll put that one in the comments and you can have a look there. Uh, there were 16 to 18 rooms now. So since that um, tour, it has changed some. And you'll notice that um, in that video, it's furnished downstairs, but I have since changed the downstairs. But go and have a look and I just wanted to show you the library or the personal reading room I should say with all the books in it. I made everything in this house myself the books included. I have a thing for miniature books I just absolutely love them. So this miniature junk journal that I just did is making my heart feel a little bit bursty. <laughs> okay so let's get to that flip through shall we? You can see this little journal is just bursting at the seams. I don't think I could fit anything else in here. And I just love that. It's one signature sewn together and a fabric cover. Forgive me if I get the terms wrong as we go along. I'm new to junk journaling, so I might misuse the terms. There's a tuck spot with a journaling card. And the word thinking. I got these words that you see all throughout the journal. I got them all from a Charles Dickens book and a pocket that I hand sewed myself and did a very messy job at that and a little letter I wrote when I was just a little girl resized it and put it in there and a clear pocket this has been glued to lace I don't know what this material is it was just in my stash and so it glued nicely so I just made clear pockets and a little journaling card all my pullouts will have this little piece of fabric glued on top and that's to make it easier to grab and pull out they were disappearing before I did that, disappearing inside the pockets. And a postage stamp with a fox on it. And these tags are just adorable. I love tags anyway, but we miniature ones are just the cutest. This one opens up. And I put the word dream in there. Another pocket. Postage stamp with uh, strawberries on it. Fabric collage from pieces from my trash can. <laughs> and more of that clear paper, glued over scrap paper. I just cut out a beautiful image of a butterfly, stuck it in there. And another tuck spot with an image I printed off online. Just a variety of mushrooms. I printed it off on coffee stained paper, roughed up the edges to make it look a bit older. And another pocket, I tried to pass this one through the sewing machine and failed miserably because it's just too tiny. And another pullout. And this one has the word church on it. And I chose the word church because my mom is actually in this book. And when she was a little girl, she loved church. So I thought the two go together. I'll show you my mom. She's up here a couple pages ahead. Oh, and this here is a flip out. And this idea for this type of flip out I got from Amity Bloom here on YouTube. And uh, she has the same type of thing in her journal, a few of her journals. With this color on the outside and then this colored pocket that matches on the inside there. I just thought that was a brilliant thing so I had to include it. 
And inside is a little letter that I resized, printed off, and stain, uh, glued it to coffee stain paper. And you can actually read that with a magnifying glass. I wrote that when I was nine years old to one of my aunts. Another pocket to pull out. And here's my little mom. That's a piece of lace glued over scrap paper. And the cutest little tag made from a real photo of my mom when she was just three years old. And on the back I put three words that made me think of her. Goodness, patient, and love. Definitely all three, three things could describe my mom very well. Keep it safe, tuck it in there. Another flip out inside is just different things. Word connection. And a tip in. I believe that's what they call it. I tipped it in with a piece of scotch tape and a fabric flip out. Oh, and here's another flip out. I glued that to that clear paper again so you can see the image on the other side. And last one, a flip out made of a collage I made. And the end. So there you go, my first junk journal flip through. I absolutely am head over heels in love with this little thing. A um, couple ideas for you. You could make it into a keychain for yourself or a junk journal lover in your life. What a fun little gift to open, I think. I would absolutely love it if someone made me something like that. Or it could also be used as a charm on a life-size journal. This one actually matches. I use the same material for both. Um, yeah, as a charm. Or make it for your dollhouse library like I've done. I know my gnomes are just going to absolutely love that, and I can't wait to see what they put in there. So I'm going to show you one more thing before I go. Those words in there... Um, there was a heart, there was a couple hearts, and there would be words inside, and I'll show you how I got those. So what I do to get the little heart shape to, to punch out the word, because you can't see it when you do this, right? You can't see it. Turn it over, and it becomes like a little window, and you can isolate the words that you want. Here's a word on here I want to get, actually. It's the word friend, uh, but it's too high for my punch right now, because it, it's just too high up in the page. So I'm just going to trim this. So where is that word? So you just isolate it. There it is. Friend. So those of you who like to pay attention to little details like that, there's an idea for you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that flip through. I'll see you soon.